Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to prepare a flavorful and delicious kadai paneer. As the name indicates, we are going to prepare this in kadai. So I am going to dry roast few ingredients that are uh, 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds and 1 teaspoon of jeera and 1 teaspoon of peppercorn. We are preparing masala for this kadai paneer. So I am taking 3 numbers of red chili. You can uh, increase or decrease according to your taste. Cinnamon stick and bay leaf. Now start dry roasting it until you get a nice flavor and the color start to change. You can switch off the flame. Transfer to a plate and grind into a smooth powder. In the same kadai, we are going to add little oil or even you can add butter. It gives a nice taste and flavor. Now I am going to add the chopped onion which is chopped into square shape. And then uh, chopped capsicum which is also chopped into square shape. Now saute it until it becomes little slightly soft and crunchy. Now after the sauteing is over, transfer to a separate plate. Now add a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of oil. Adding in the ginger chopped into small pieces and garlic powder fine number. Saute it. Now I'm going to add one large onion which has been thinly sliced. Saute it and cook the onions until it has become soft. Now I have also added uh, 3 tomatoes and I have cooked until it becomes soft. Now allow it to cool for some time and add it to the mixi jar and grind to a smooth paste. Now we are going to use the same kadai and I am using oil. You can either use oil or butter. Now add the grounded paste to this kadai and cook it uh, in a medium flame for 2 minutes. Now we can see the boiling uh, of this gravy. Now we can add the grounded masala that is the dry masala which we had uh, grounded in the beginning of this process. Now mix it well. Now the masala is well combined with the onion tomato Paste and now we are going to add in the onion and capsicum. Now give a nice mix so that the masala will coat well on the capsicum and the onion. Now let's dilute the gravy. I'm going to add one full glass of water. So I'll be adding little by little so that we can watch the consistency of the gravy. After adding water, let's allow it to boil. Now let's add the chopped paneer cubes to the gravy. I'm adding 200 grams of paneer cubes. Add the required salt and give a nice mix to the gravy and allow this gravy to cook and simmer for at least 5 minutes with the lid closed. Now it's 95% done and the last touch is adding in the fresh cream or uh, cashew nut paste. Now the flavorful and delicious kadai paneer is all set to serve along with roti, butter naan and uh, chapati and also rice. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do give a thumbs up and subscribe to Saranya Recipe Box and uh, don't forget to share with your friends and family. Have a good day.